The Google Android Camera App, aka Gcam, helps you to take better pictures than your stock camera app. But today, let me introduce you to Gcam Video Recording and the great things that it can do. Force your phone to record 4K video at 60 FPS even when your Android phone manufacturer didn't make that provision in your phone. Get electronic and optical image stabilization in your Android phone while recording 4K video. One tap switch to internal or external microphone while recording video. There is also a lot of features like audio zooming, their motion object tracking, autofocus and exposure lock and a lot more. So come with me. Let's go check it out. Okay, welcome back again to Smart Department. I'm so glad to have you back today. There is so much Gcam can do in your Android phone if you have it installed. I've made a lot of playlists on, on how to install Gcam, how to find the best Gcam for your phone, how to do the advanced setting, you know, a lot of that. So you can click on the card right now to check that all at the end of the video. The link will also be in the description. If you like this video, why not click on that subscribe button right now? Just, just click on it, that red button and turn on the notification bell icon to get videos like this. Also like and share as we're going to explore the multitude powerful supreme things that the Gcam can do with video recording on any Android phone. This is the Gcam 8.1 by BSG. I mean, it can literally work on any Android phone that is running Android 9 and above. I tried a lot of them out and I'll put the link in the description if you want to check them out. So the first thing we're going to do is to activate 4K 60fps. As you can see on Poco F3, if you put on 4K, the 60fps will be disabled. So Gcam 8 uh, have this capacity to force uh, 4K 60fps. You can see that by going to the settings and then when you go down, then you can click on force 4K 60fps. The outcome is now when we select a 4K, the option of 60 FPS will be there. Of course, 4K uh, in low light will struggle, you know, kind of trying to focus. But then there's another feature in this GCAM that is called autofocus and auto exposure lock. So once you lock it in low light, it keeps you stable while you're recording. And if you tap again on the screen, it will go off and start, you know, trying to focus. So always make sure you use autofocus lock in low light. So let's check it out. So this is the video. As you can see, the file size is showing that it is full 4K. So you can see the file size it's full 4K. But then we're also going to check it with another player and to be able to see whether the 4K uh, is up to 60 frames per second. And as you can see that is up to 60 frames per second. Shooting 4K videos in daylight is even better as we're going to explore some other features uh, of the Gcam video like video stabilization. There is the standard, there is the active and quick movement. Uh, for this video, only the standard is working on this part for me. Uh, so we're going to try it, which is the least one and that doesn't crop in. So also I'm going to be showing you some raw videos of 4K from this Gcam. So you see for yourself, there's also this microphone indicator showing you whether you're recording from external microphone or whether you're recording from internal microphone. So here is the raw 4K video from the Gcam on edited. Now it's, you can see how smooth this 4K, the flowers moving, the, the smoothness of this 4K. So it's very, very important. And this is actually directly against the sunlight, but, and there is no autofocus lock. So it did well. So that's very, very important. A handheld video, of course I was moving around and yeah, they were a little shake, but really, really usable, you know, very usable. So this is it. Even while I was zooming in, shaking my hand, it's, yeah, still usable <laughs> with the standard there. Uh, and listen, this is kind of way better, way better than some of that 4K that you can get from any other Android stock OEM. So we're still gonna push it for the <laughs> low lights. How about stark darkness? It's after seven, so I'm gonna take a walk with the girls and we're gonna try to record this. Now, this is like middle of the night, close to the night, you know, so so the, this is how dark it is and we're gonna try to record 
first of all you notice that it will always struggle you know with that exposure changes and then light changes so but you can always deal with that when you lock the autofocus and auto exposure now this is from the camera and this is to tell you that we actually in the tick of the night but we're going to check out what the gcam can do as you can see this is before i put on the flashlight and this is the flashlight before i put on exposure lock so i'm going to lock the exposure right now so let's see how good it can do in really really dark environment so as you can see with the exposure lock now it's a bit, a bit stable and from the camera also you can see that it is actually in the middle of the night that we are recording this so very very interesting to see how good that this gcam video can do in the night i'll leave you with some of the raw recording with exposure lock in the night and you can see that this guy <laughs> my stock camera couldn't even come close to this Quick switch internal external microphone for video recording is handy but let's talk about some of the challenges you're going to face trying to install this gcam because some of them are not signed and you're using the higher android level uh, you might get this option of yeah yes <laughs> just install i'm going to put the link in the description for selvado which is actually the right place where the developers put it so uh, make sure you get it from that link um, not any other place uh, so different gcam 8 have different different way they look uh, but they are almost the same thing some will give you option to force 4k 60 fps some already force the 4k 60 fps so there will be one or two differences in them but at the end of the day they are different gcam 8 from different portals but they have that capacity to give you 4k video 60 fps with a whole lot of other future so let me hear from you in the comment section and until i see you in the next one peace subscribe i'll see you